The Lumen Key 60 LX keyboard has started its group buy, and this was sent over to me by Loop Switches themselves for my honest review. So this keyboard will start at a price point of 139 US dollars for the soldered PCB, but I recommend going with the hot swap or you can even go with the hot swap tri mode connectivity, which has battery support. Before we continue, if you like keyboard content and want to support my channel, consider subscribing as it would help me out a lot. There are also plenty of different color options that are absolutely beautiful. The one I have here today is of course the green wood variant. So you get that wooden accent key at the top part of the keyboard and a very nice two-tone green finish on it. There are also three different layouts, win key, which is what I have, win key list, and HHKB. A lot of different options to choose from. There is also a Lumen Key 60 LX Copper Edition that does cost around $239, but you do get that very nice copper finish along with the color of your choosing. With all that being said, inside the carrying case, you get your PCB, case foam, plate foam, and you also get some stabilizers, all the screws, and a very nice screwdriver as well to help you build this keyboard. This keyboard also has three different mounting styles, which is gummy o-ring, dampened gummy o-ring, which is what I'll be doing today, and your standard dumbbell gaskets. The build process for this keyboard is of course quite simple, as the keyboard comes disassembled, and if you didn't know, the longer screws are for the top part of the case and the smaller screws are for the bottom part of the case when you put it back together. Now, if you are going to be installing it via the gummy overing, I do recommend you use clip-in stabilizers and not screw-in. Also, if you want to use plate foam like I did, I just cut the outside edges of the plate foam so the overing could sit snug in between the plate and PCB. After I lubed and tuned the stabilizers, I put the plate foam and cut it accordingly. Then I put on the polypropylene plate. I've never really used this material that much before, so I thought it would be quite different. The switches I'm going to be using today are the HMX Hyacinth V2Us. I've been wanting to use these for quite a while now. And speaking of HMX, as an optional addition to this keyword, they will be offering some HMX Noir switches that look like they sound pretty good on paper. So definitely something to check out as well. The keycaps I'm going to be using are my favorite green keycap set and that is the SA Jedi keycap set that I've used on pretty much every green keyboard I build. I just love the look of this keyboard. But besides the looks, in the feel department, it actually feels quite nice. You know, that dampened O-ring definitely feels pretty solid. There isn't a lot of bounce or flex in my o-ring maybe it's the toughness of the o-ring itself but you can always buy a less firm one off of a third party or something so that isn't really a big deal to me with all that being said here's a quick sound test so you guys can hear how it sounds Now overall this keyboard does lean to that clackier side and the switches do as well so I felt like it was a very nice pairing and I really am happy with how this keyboard turned out. Now this is my first time using a 60% so it was kind of weird to not have arrow keys but this keyboard is QMK via and Vial compatible and Vial is a software I haven't used before but I noticed there is something called Tap Dance where you can make certain keys have a tap action and a hold action. So I made my bottom right section of keys into pretty much arrow keys when I tap on them. Very nice customization feature there for the people that do want those arrow keys. Overall, I think this keyboard has a lot going for it. 
It sounds pretty solid. The field department is good as well. And all the color options are amazing in my opinion. The only three big deal breakers some people might not like about this keyboard is one, the fact that it is a group buy, so it is not an in-stock unit. Two, it is a 60% layout, so it doesn't have the arrow keys or FN row and stuff like that, and some people don't like that. And three, this typing angle is a little bit short at six degrees, and it does not have any feet to adjust it. To get around that, I used a taller keycap profile, but I know a lot of people prefer an eight degree typing angle or even a 10 degree typing angle so this is a little bit on the short side i'll be leaving a link to this keyboard group by in the description below but let me know what you guys thought about the lumen key 60 lx in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace